Wolf Tick Nation, welcome to another Wolf Tick episode. Now, on today's episode, we're going to bring you one hell of a mail time segment. I mean, this is... <laughs> It's ridiculous what we got sitting over there. You guys are going to have to stay tuned Some of them that. have already seen the sneak peek. Of yeah, some sneak peek you guys have seen. It's massive. It's huge. Uh, you know, he between his drunken eBay, between my there was shopping... There a lot of that. Between my shopping on the internet, a, lot of that. a bunch of our subscribers, viewers, those of uh, those of gifts. you guys that gifts love our channel, want to send us stuff, want to support the Wolf Tick uh, videos compound over here, support our channel. Um, they're, they're, everything is over there. It's it's crazy. When I went into the post office to pick up our packages, they actually gave us. You'll see, they gave us <laughs> an official a bin. She was like, oh, hell no, y'all are official now. <laughs> yeah. Let's just give you a bin. Once we get done with the mail time on today's video, we're going to be putting on these all mountain style frame protection guards that uh, Berserker Nick sent us. So uh, we're going to be putting these on the aluminum comp Berserker frame protection for cool bikes. You can see how all that goes. Got the little wolf I'd on there. I'd say that Comp Berserker is a cool bike. Comp Berserker is a cool bike. We're going to make it even cooler. We're going to yeah. see how that goes. Uh, kind of slip in a little bit just because this mail time segment's Whoa. huge we're gonna slip a little something, calm something down, in there. ain't nothing down. ever wrong with slipping a little something there's something. something wrong a lot of the times with it but <laughs> before we slip in a little something something let's get to some mail time one hell of a segment <laughs> Are you going to do something special like that? You no. Know, like you're doing it now. I'm excited about this. Oh, you guys should be too. Get ready for this. Bring on the mail. Dude. <laughs> it's, it's all filled, dude. There's nothing. In, there's no space yeah. or stuff down there. You can see his packages. Yeah, it ain't like your grandma got you that Easter basket on uh, Easter, you know, where the whole bottom is this thick and green. And then you got like a couple of things on the top. This is full to the brim, folks. Are you talking crap on Grandma's Easter basket? No, I'm just an example. So get that big old honker out of the way. Let's uh, The one that's in your right hand, let's open that first. This here is a gift. Now, I work with a guy, old school, really cool cat. His name is Alan Upchurch. Now, Alan... Does he want you to say his He name? does. Alan appreciates it. So Alan is this uh, really cool old school guy. Does a huge Christmas... Uh, his whole lighting spectacular every God, Christmas. Uh, he kind of gives back to the community. And he's been watching our channel. And he's like, Jeremiah, you and your dad are freaking hilarious. I got something for you guys to put in your shop that's been hanging up in mine for a couple of years. I think you'll appreciate it. I was so excited for you to open this and yeah. see it. I was like, oh my God, he's going to freak out. Are you ready for this? Oh, Alan, what'd you get us? Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, that dude. That is that awesome. Is, huh? That is perfect. That is perfect for the Wolfsick Videos perfect. Garage. Man, that's awesome. Uh huh. I seen that they're bringing that bike back. Remember we oh, seen yeah, that Walmart gonna, while oh, back? Come on, show them. Yeah, that is freaking sweet. Alan, thank you so much, man, from uh, both of us here at Wolfsick Videos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. I just want to make sure I don't cut anything. Yeah, don't. Yeah, I, I know. It drives me nuts. Oh, cool. Oh. I know what this is. Yeah. I ordered these. These are 180 millimeter rotor post mounts, both front and back. So you guys can probably imagine yeah, we're going to be uh, doing a little front and back action. Side to side. A little side to side can action. You let the Alpine play. 100, I don't know, 180 millimeter rotors on, um, think of the Comp Zerker. So what's going to be getting these? Oh, we got a movie. Oh, is it good? Is it good? Willow. Oh my God, Willow! What in the world is Jesus. on the back of this Willow? That is a wacky. That was a crazy. I mean, it was just a. That was a weird damn movie. You, you've probably seen this Willow. movie. It's, who it, sent us Willow? Who sent us Willow? Does it, not, it doesn't have a name on it. I think I know who sent it, but I don't know. Put okay, in the comments. You don't know. I just hope it's in English. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Willow. Thanks for ever sent Willow. Oh, it's, I'm, I'm all interested though. That's awesome. Okay, this has got to be from Berserker Nick. All right, this says One Up Components EDC. Now, those of you that are familiar with these, I don't want to show him because he was so <laughs> against this. Oh no. <laughs> this goes in your steering tube he was talking about this for the berserker the comp berserker we've got one two three four we got eight different hex and torque heads on there it feels pretty damn light and it's so small every time you see these things on the internet they look massive and it's like oh i don't know how that's gonna fit you know but check out just the looks can be deceiving look at the packaging on that thing that is awesome 
Dude, that is heck of a lot smaller than I thought. That right there is a pretty damn cool little multi-tool all hidden inside your steer tube. Mm -hmm. Berserker Nick, thanks, man. One up. All right, next piece of mail. Oh, buddy, it finally came in. Oh, yeah, some of you guys have been waiting for this. Oh, yeah. Full disclosure, paid for it, did get a discount. This is a Suntour Radon rear shock, Radon Low. Look at that. This thing right here is going to be attempted to put yeah, on the Mongoose Temasur. It's completely um, OEM. That's why there's no stickers or anything with it. But uh, very interested to see how this is going to do. And hopefully we can fit this thing. Our buddies at Crimson Stallion Sales, they had some Sun Tours in stock. And we said, man, they definitely supported us before. Let's support them and let's buy from them. So uh, Crimson Stallion Sales, you guys can go down to the links below and check them out. Uh, man, thank you we'll guys for having these in that stock. Too. Yeah. That. All right, we got this. Oh, 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 all right, you're ready, oh, to, you're ready to read it? It's a stem cap. Oh, God. Oh, crap. That's dude. It says, Wolf Tick Videos Aluminum Comp Zerker stem cap. That right there is freaking sweet, man. That is clean. Come yeah, on, really so clean. Yeah, you have to figure that. That kind of has to go in the comp zerker. We're going to have to figure that out with the comp so, zerker. He got us that one up to put in there. But how about putting the one up on the taff? Might put the one up in the taff. We're gonna figure out the bike to put that on. This right here just has to. This has to go on the aluminum comp zerker. That's what yeah. I made it for. Aluminum comp you zerker. I have no clue what this is. Core. Made in Korea. Oh, it's core. It's core. This ain't your drunken eBay. This no. is some of my shopping here. That thing is gonna look sweet mixed with them Suntour Pixens. Your uh, your version right of drunken sweet, eBay is hitting the head too much. Amazon. Forty. <laughs> in the head Amazon. 42 and a half millimeters long. Um, absolutely no rise. Uh, this thing right here is pretty sweet. Got it for 30 bucks. Core. Different brand. I just want to try something else out and get a black big old stem. Four bolt for the aluminum comp zerker. This, this is, is going to be overkill mail time. I'm yeah, sure. this is a mail time segment from hell. Hopefully you guys continue to keep on enjoying. Is that like Willow or Willow? Go? No, it's Willow. Oh. Oh, this is going to be on our budget pedal oh, stuff. Okay. We're going to be doing a budget pedal shootout. These here are wheel up pedals. Very flat. Got some good little... Um, are you going to call them cleats? We're going to call them cleats. Are these right here are going to be going on our uh, hopefully soon to come budget pedal shootout. Not one pedal is going to be over $30. Are you ready for this one? I don't know if I'm ready for it. You look worried. I, I am a little worried about everything. This. Okay, yeah. Now, our budget boundary build, right? Budget That's going to be a budget boundary budget. build. Budget. Now, check this out. Not quite, but almost like a memory foam. Okay. Can you see the rock bros there? Got the lock on one side and the little bar and um 5.99 and it goes with the boundaries lime green so i was like man so six bucks yeah six bucks for these guys you can look down in the description as well but i couldn't believe it 5.99 for some grips i said we got to try those if you guys are into the foam grips let us know in the comments rock bro pedals there you go rock bro pedals as well check out the pedal so you can see those there. These were definitely on the higher, these were I think the most expensive, but pretty decently flat pedal there. Uh, definitely a budget pedal. I should have had our uh, and nylon. row. And nylon. Feels like a DVD. A DVD. All right, here we go. Old batch. What? Rad. Oh, rad, <laughs> rad yeah. ghost. Now this is not from, two, but the yeah, second one. This is the second rad that we have gotten. Mm -hmm. Berserker, Nick. Hooked us up with this rad. Now, as you guys know before, uh, we were talking about wanting to get the movie rad. Robert Frazier had mentioned it. Berserker Nick emailed us, said, hey, you got rad coming in the mail. Um, why don't you guys do a giveaway? So we're going to figure out the giveaway on rad. And I'll tell you guys what. That yeah. right there, that's a bad we're movie. We're gonna... This here is a little bit of clothing-ish. Now, this is a gift for you. Oh, whoa, a gift for me? What... I got you this. What? what? Why? Do you know what it is? I have no idea what it is. Are you sure? Because there's a lot of times where I don't want him going through my search history. Okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, ain't, he ain't been going that's, through my... That's for different reasons. He ain't been going through my search history. <laughs> and I seen oh, this I like and I said, dude, I've got to get him that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, dude. <laughs> Bull... Really? Yeah. Dude. Now, he is a huge Giants fan. We got the draft coming up. Dad needs a new jersey. Dude. Let's see if it fits. He's got the left arm through the hole. Oh, that fits perfect. Good. Saquon. Saquon. Hey, All right. We got some mailage. Sure, buddy. I ordered this. I know it's kind of hard to see. We'll do probably a little video on this thing. You put all your goods in here, right? That's a little pouch. You strap it up like that. You put it over the top. And then 
It's called a uh, speed sleeve. Mm -hmm. You get that and you wrap it on the inside of your seat and it's got your tools. It says it'll hold a tube, CO2 cartridge, and a multi-tool. But this right here, a little bit more on the expensive side. It was like 34 bucks. Good night. 34 bucks, but it's just nice that I can get it, strap it to any bike that I'm going to be on and start riding it in this little package of goodness. Hold that. A, pa a little package of goodness. I got me a, a, a free wheel tool. Oh, another free wheel tool? Another free wheel yeah. tool. Hopefully Dude, I don't strip the other one. Hopefully I don't strip this one out. A bottom bracket remover, right? Something that you can always use. I definitely have one of these. Um, and this is pretty much all backup stuff. <laughs> have a chain breaker. And this is all a set. This was on Amazon for a... Uh, it's like Do you collect chain breakers? You've got like five of them there. And last thing, a crank puller. Different style crank puller. The one I've got has a uh, handle on it that's getting pretty tore up because I beat the crap out with a hammer all the time. Got a little crank puller here. It's hell of a mail time. Okay, if man. you guys are enjoying this mail time, can you give us a thumbs up right now and kind yeah. of help the video, help the channel a little bit? Nope. Here you go. Chain ring bolts that cover the silver from Robert Fraser. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, those are sweet. Oh man. That covers oh, yeah. the little face so on the chain ring. Now you got a couple different ones. Dude. Robert Fraser said, man, you need a little bit of blingage on there. Blingage. Snail completely. Blingage. These ones right here completely cover them up. And they got the little snail uh, symbol on them. You trademark that. Those are pretty awesome, huh? Uh -huh. Robert Fraser, man. I mean, that guy he, just, like I said, he's, he's the woodwork stuff. man. He's like, bam, bam, he's bam, the, I'm going to send this, that, I'm going to send that. He's the, the woodwork, woodwork guy. What the hell does that mean? So. We got another DVD. Can't have too many. Let's see what this is. It looks like it says double feature or something. Oh, good. What we got? Oh, man. Finally. <laughs> dude. Is that the mother? Yes, mother. Oh, my gosh. Mother, mother dude. Mother Tucker. Heck, yeah. I remember watching that movie. I don't know about Reform School Girls. Fraternity Vacation. That's old. That is the typical 80s movie. I'm glad movie. you got that. That's awesome. Yes. Yeah. Heck, yeah. All right. Oh, I know what this is. Everybody's favorite Jessica headset. Oh, except for Jason. Except for Jason. 44 to 56 millimeter headset. Now, here at WolfDig Videos, we like to order ahead whenever we can, and definitely you, a coffee supporter, supporting us. Allows us it to do, us that. do that. Really helps us. But uh, anyway, this is a uh, headset for the um, budget boundary. Mailage. Oh my gosh, man. Berserker Nick. Berserker Nick? Berserker Nick. I see the color in here. It's Berserker Nick. I already know it. Oh. This guy, man. Berserker. Dude. Berserker Nick sent these, and he goes, man, I've been running two Belitos on my bike, and in three years, I've taken it through everything, have not gotten one flat. Now that's what I'm talking about. And it's about. all thanks to my two Belito strong as crap uh, I, tubes. I'm with Berserker Nick. And they're light and screw tubeless. This yeah. is the way to go. <laughs> the texture on that is weird. Two times too. tougher, two thirds lighter. Tubalito tubes made in Austria. Yeah. Crikey. <laughs> no, that'd be dumb. <laughs> Austria, not Australia. Oh, Good man. thing I wasn't a surgeon. Good lord. <laughs> We're just gonna <laughs> stop. Oh my god, those look so freaking good. We just good. stopped and looked at it. Caramel Stroop Waffles. Enjoy a Dutch classic. Something for you and the old man to snack on while making a video from Sloth. Cool. Really? Well, Sloth, I'm way ahead of you. This oh, thing looks freaking awesome, man. The, I'm the gift for you, beer Oh going. my god. It's a pinch of heaven you're about to put in your mouth. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. Sloth, mm. thank you. Mmm. Oh yeah. Now these are V tires, Trax AM dual compound. And these here are 27.5 by 2.35. Tubeless ready. Yeah, both tires total were 52 bucks. Total. Total, yeah. $52 total on both of these. Mm -hmm. V tires, I'm really curious to see how they uh, how they track. So that's what, like 26 bucks a piece. Yeah, whatever, that, that's cheap. This is from De Hoseman. De Hoseman. De Hoseman, our boy from Kelly, bought us some coffees in the yeah. last shout out segment. And in that uh, message, he says, hey guys, I got a little something something I was gonna put on my gravel bike. A little something something. A little something something I was gonna put on my gravel bike. And then he told us what it was, said, hey, would you guys be interested? I said, dude, that would be awesome if you were to send us that. Advent RDM619M. Like we said, the Wolf Tick Nation is the best mm -hmm. fan base out there. I'm telling you, nine speed derailleur. Dude, the Hoseman, 11 to 42 tooth Advent cassette. Good range. 
Yeah, good range. How does it feel? It feels really good. It feels light. It's drilled out. I mean, that's that's really light. Oh, that is. That's very light. Dude, the hoseman. The hoseman. Your derailleur and your cassette. We'll be going on one of our builds sooner or later, man. I can guarantee you that. But uh, thank you so much, the hoseman. But yeah, like you said earlier, the Wolf Tick Nation is the so, best fan base. so supportive of yeah. our channel. And uh, man, we can't thank you enough. But yeah. uh, all right, well, guys, that is the mail time segment. Well, I don't let's, know about that. Let's jump. I don't know about that. What do you mean? Well, you know, I drink. I mm -hmm. love my beer. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I, I drink a lot of beer. Yeah. And then sometimes I get on eBay. As we know, we call it my drunken eBay. Yeah. Well, the other day I had it. It happened. Oh, my God. A Rock Shocks fork, I'm going to say? <laughs> I don't know. When the hell did you order that? How did I know? Because I was drinking and Dude. on eBay. Well, actually, it wasn't on eBay. I think I did it. I don't know where the hell I ordered oh it from. Oh, my gosh. I don't even want to look at the stickers on your side because I don't want to know what this thing is yet. How long has this been here? Uh, For about four days. Oh, crap. What forks are these? Woo I'm giddy. I'm giddy. Wide side yeah, What nice. did you get? Okay, I see a straight steer tube. Quick release. 120 millimeters of travel, 27.5. Are these the Judy's? Yeah, they are. Are these the Judy's? <laughs> they are. Oh my gosh, we've we got the Judy's. We've got the Judy's. We've got the Judy's. Everybody and their brother and their sisters and their cousins have been talking about these. I can't believe you got them. $169. Oh my god! Not a penny more. Well, guys, we got the Rock Shock Judy Silver TKs. Yeah, we're not going to... Uh, well, we're going to do our official first impression yeah. of it. We'll measure it out. We'll weigh and We'll do all that. We'll, we'll put these on the GT? Them. On the GT, then we'll test them. These are going Whenever on the GT? Whenever we get weather, we're going to test them. We're going to rate them. So I'm taking them down the Hayes Creek Run. Two and a half mile downhill. In. I'm going to beat the out of these forks That's right. and let's see if they hold up because everybody out there says get the rock shocks get the rock shocks yep. sam fisher you should be very happy yeah no kidding maybe he'll shut up yeah. and they're going on the gt maybe you'll get happy what an awesome mail time hopefully y'all are still awake get yourself some coffee i mean this has been the greatest mail time segment in our yeah, channel history man. and it's just uh, thanks to everybody at the wolf tick yeah with wolf tick nation man just it's been awesome we finally got some rock shock judy silver tks wow yeah uh let's go ahead and uh get into the uh ams frame guard video let's go ahead and put them on the uh, aluminum comp all right, all right guys well hopefully you enjoyed the mail time segment now let's go ahead and jump into the I did. all mountain style ams frame guard extra now, uh, these were purchased by Berserker Nick on the channel, and we're going to be putting these on the Aluminum Comp Berserker today. Always been wanting something like this. It says high impact and wear resistance, easy installation, cool look and feel. Now, this is the Wolf branded one. There's a whole bunch of different selections in there. But you can see the texture here. Is it Wolf branded? Yeah, the Wolf branded. They got the Wolf pictures on there. <laughs> you hear that? You hear that? Honeycomb. Yeah. It's got, it's got similar texture to the honeycomb. Now, this is all it is here. Uh, we'll put a little link in the uh, description below, fill it link, so you guys can maybe get yourself some of these. Something on here says you can go for installation. You can go to ams.bike slash installation. We're not going to do that. Um, it does say that you need some alcohol, a shop towel, and some scissors. We got stuff back there. It does uh, say you want to use 100%, but we're going to use some 70% today. Shouldn't be a difference with it, right? But uh, all wolf themed all the way throughout. So really, I don't know where these things are going to go. I'm thinking maybe some of these on the chain stay. Um, I don't know. We're going to play with them a little bit and kind of see what they look like after we get done with so it. this will not be a how-to. Yeah, definitely not a how-to. This is going to be a just figuring out as we go. Mm -hmm. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start by taking off this plastic chain stay decal. It's just like a clear sticker. It's not very thick. It didn't really protect the uh, chain stay too much when I did have chain slap. I think the biggest thing to worry about on this is your prep, making sure all their surfaces are nice and clean. Because uh, the last thing you want is any kind of debris or like hair sticking under it. It seems to look kind of nasty. And not only that, but I don't want big old air bubbles. After we get done cleaning it and prepping the surface, then we will uh, go ahead and start putting the stickers down and see if we can change the looks of this bike. Everything is all alcoholed up. Got both chain stays nice and clean. And it's kind of fun because you really get to decide on your own where you want to put all these stickers. Now, I don't want to put a sticker down here on the seat post because since I have a dropper, that's where I clamp it. 
Um, and I figured if I put something on there in that area, then it would definitely just get messed up by that clamp constantly. So I'm going to stay away from that area. I think I want to do both chain stays. I want to do the uh, top tube. We've got these little arrows here. These three, and I think there's a little one in the fourth one. If this one's smaller than that one, I think it'd be kind of cool to do like a little back section here where they kind of triple all the way down. So I think I'm going to start on that. We'll put these ones on the top portion, and then we'll probably play with these little longer ones for the uh, chain stay. Um, so in the future, if there is any chain slap, and then this guy here, I'm going to put him all the way on the bottom below by the uh, derailleur housing. Hopefully we can fit underneath the, um, the cables there. <laughs> one bubble. I got one bubble. One bubble right there. All right, guys. Well, got done with the install, if you want to call it that, of the AMS frame guards that Berserker Nick sent. Thank you. I think the bike looks pretty sweet now, adding to all the touches. We have a whole bunch of stuff to put on that bike and all the other bikes here at Wolf Tick Videos. Man, just uh, thank you so much, Wolf Tick Nation. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, turn the notifications on, because we got a whole bunch of stuff, as you guys have seen, uh, needing to be put on bikes and needing to be tested out in these trails as soon as this weather calms down a little bit when we can finally do that. Berserker Nick, Allen, uh, DeHoseman, Sloth, Robert Frazier, everybody else who sent anything to do with the um, mail time segment or just anything, any of the time. We appreciate you guys so much. And guys, we will see you on the next Wolf Tick video episode. Thank you so much for watching our stuff.